You got to pay the cost to be the boss. Every day, every opportunity you get, you come out here and work your tail off. And in the end, we're going to be successful. We have to be meaner, tougher, nastier, and we got to want it more than the next guy. All right? The team that wants it the most will win. And that's year round. Okay, baby? Great job. It is a new season. It is a new era for Texas A&M. You give it all you got. Let's go. Hey man, it's another day in the office, man. It's a blessing just to be here. Hey man, since I do this with a smile on my face, man, what's there to complain about? I play for Texas A&M and I'm from Texas, coach. What is there to complain about? No! Oh, come on! Here we go. Here we go. 55. Save lives, baby. Love you, coach. Come on, boss! Woo! <laughs> hey! Gotta be a workhorse now. Gotta be a workhorse. Yes, sir. Let's go, Fitzgerald. Where are we going? Let's get it, baby. Come on. Let's work. Let's work. Come on. Preseason camp has the Aggies sounding off. And before they can hear the 12th man in Kyle Field, they have to put in the work. Come on. We definitely have a. I wouldn't say a slow start, but we had a lot to kind of figure out at the beginning. But once we got through the first week, we really got rolling. And now we've got that cohesiveness with O-line, especially, and the offense as a whole. We're just getting all 11 people on the same page. Because if you only have 10 guys doing their job and that one guy doesn't, the whole play doesn't work. So just getting 11 guys on the same page every single day. We're all about consistency. I mean, everybody can do something once, but to do it over and over again until we can't do it wrong, I mean, that was our goal, and I felt like we did a pretty good job of that. I got a lot closer with the guys, you know, because in spring it's more about, like, you know, earning a spot a little bit more and you're more individualized. And in the fall camp, it's like building that together. So, you know, you know, I feel like I got closer with the team, and I feel like the defensive line, we definitely got closer. For me, it's just getting back, you know, Running around, putting the pads on is always a blessing for me, man. Got some of the things that I wanted to work on, got those things fixed, narrowed the things down that I wanted to work on. Like on the defensive side of the ball, we are communicating at a high level. We're running around, playing fast, flying around. I love the direction our team is training again, especially after fall camp. You know, I feel like we ironed out a lot of details that we hadn't picked up on throughout summer and spring ball, so I think camp was pretty successful for us. This team is finding its identity as each individual finds out how they fit and gets more comfortable in their own role. When it was announced I was the captain, I felt like I had to take control of the entire team at that point. Of course, I called the defense last year, I was leader of the defense, but now I feel like I had to shift my perspective to special teams and offense as well. So I've been trying to be more engaged on what's going on offense and special teams and make sure everybody's approaching the game the right way. I'm a hard-nosed player. I mean, if I need to run it up the middle, I'm gonna run it up the middle. I'm gonna do whatever the team needs me to do. I'm gonna do whatever coach asked me to do. And, I'm gonna make some plays and people are gonna smile and I'm gonna put some balls on the money and it's gonna wow some people. So I'm just ready to go out there and play this Saturday. You know, I'm a, I'm a goofy, I'm a, I'm a goofy guy on the field. Like I don't try to make any moment too serious. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. The itsy bitsy spider. Oh, yeah bro, stop poking people in the eye bro. You know, uh, after I make plays, I like to get up and you know, dance, celebrate. I, I'm, I'm a big, like, I love to interact with the fans. Like, if you see me on third down, I'll be hyping the crowd up and stuff like that. I'm a big guy who likes to be active in the community, you know, and be out with fans and, you know, build relationships and, you know, and give my gloves to the little kids after the games, things like that. It's just the kind of guy I am. So I've always tried to lead by example every single day. So I think I already had done that, but I really wanted to grow as a vocal leader because that's probably what was one of my strong suits. So I really grew my voice on the team and really was 
calling people out good and bad every single day to keep everyone on the same page and moving forward. I'm a team player. I'm going to make sure that all of my brothers are good, all of my brothers are playing hard. Um, I'm the type of guy that's going to always give 100% no matter what, and I'm going to hit hard. That's one thing about I'm going to be a hard hitter at all times. Just bringing back something. I feel like it's been missing something. I feel like that's what I bring. That's why I was brought here, um, to put the goon back in my own goons, you know? And it's time to show it. And I just, I just really want to play football. <laughs> What's unique about a &M compared to other schools is we get our tickets the week before the game instead of having like general admission tickets. So we on Monday morning, which is now eight days away, I believe, we will at 8 a.m. we will these windows behind us will open up and we'll be able to get our tickets. But in order to get the best tickets, you got to be at the front of the line. And in order to be at the front of the line, the way it's been for, from what I have heard, decades is you got to camp out. The 12th man's wait for Aggie football's return is in the home stretch. Some take up a new temporary residence as game day approaches. Good pizza, man. You know, about to give it out nice to the community. Good pepperoni pieces. And you got cheese. Give it out for the people. We are good Samaritans. We appreciate the people, man. They out here. Oh, you're good, you're good, you're good. They out here camping out for us, we gonna take care of them. Giving out pizza. It's Notre Dame week. Got a bunch of people camping out. I don't know how they do it. I could never, but gig them, baby. Man, it's, a, it's insane. I don't even, like, I've never, I've never been around anything like this. And it's just crazy to see the dedication and how much they have, like, so much love for us. So that just makes me want to go and play better. You know, put on a show, make, make sure this, this year is entertaining, not for us, but for, for those guys as well, man, and, and, and they're special good people, you know, I'm, like when I came back, I, uh, they, they show so much love, man, and it's just, I appreciate them so much. Whenever I was going to and from class, it was raining, and people were still out there with their umbrellas, with their tents on. Other Aggies were helping each other out. Whenever it was raining, they let them come in their tent, even though they might have known the people. So I feel like the Aggie network is real, you know, so I'm, I'm proud to be at AM Aggie, and I'm proud for them to be our fans. I think the appreciation I have for the 12th man runs so deep, you know, being the defensive coordinator here for four years, and knowing the advantage they gave us and Kyle Field and, and hearing them at their loudest moments, um, you know, when we beat Alabama, when we beat LSU, those those crowds, those things last in your brain forever. And so, um, yeah, I think part of me deciding to come here was the immense appreciation I had for the 12th man and the, the history and tradition that surrounds this program. And so uh, this will be a really cool experience to witness it on the field, though. It'll be the first time I actually get on the field to be part of it. And so uh, looking forward to that for sure. And that field will have a new look after the grounds crew turned it into their own canvas. So a lot of new changes on Kyle Field this year. Um, first, I think the centerpiece is gonna be the new midfield logo. We've gone from the block ATM logo at midfield to the Lone Star logo. Um, secondary to that is some maroon fill in the end zones. Um, and then the third major change people are gonna see is we've gone, we've added a six foot border to the field that's actually gonna be maroon filled as well. Um, and it's actually gonna have a couple of logos. And a lot of that stemmed from just conversations with Coach Elko, um, kind of his vision for the program, what he wants to see, what he wants to build. Um, and so obviously at the end of our day, end of the day, our job is to give them the best surface and you know the look that they're going for. Um, so we're bringing all that together and hopefully giving them what they want. There's always the excitement of first game of the year leading up the build up to it. Um, then you add in all the new facets um, and that's twofold because it's new for us. And so it's a whole new routine. We're trying to figure out the timing, logistics, how to do this the best way um, and, and maximize it to where everything's perfect on Saturday. Um, but then, yeah, you also get that added excitement of like, okay, we're, we're doing new and exciting things and things that have never been seen on Kyle Field before. Um, so there's that aspect of it. It's that duality of the, the challenge of the new, but the excitement of it as well. The season gets closer, the buzz gets louder, but max volume can't be achieved until final preps are made. Welcome to Mecca of all college football stadiums, Kyle Field. For those of y'all who have been here before, welcome home. 
And for those of y'all who are experiencing Kyle Field for the first time at midnight, welcome to the greatest college football tradition of all time. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented by Creston, a new home community by Johnson Development. The 12th Man Foundation, proudly celebrating 75 years of funding Texas A&M athletics. And ABC Home and Commercial Services, official pest control partner of Texas A&M athletics. College Game Day, live from College Station, Texas. College Station, and what a way to get things started the first full Saturday of the college football season. Right, you're going to handle this crowd. I mean, the noise here is really significant, especially at night. It's here. It's finally game day. No more talk. It's time to walk the walk. Howdy, Ags. It is a new season. It is a new era for Texas A&M. It's the Fighting Texas Aggies. It's the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Game one. Let's go, it's that time. Hey, lock arms. Lock your arms just like this. Make a good circle. A family that prays together? Say yeah. God, just like you said, Joshua 1 9, have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Lord, I know you're with me. Lord, I know you're watching over this whole team. And we love you. We thank you for the many blessings you've given us in spite of our sin. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Family, bless this team. Watch over their families. Protect these young men from the dangers both seen and unseen, God. And we're going to give your name the praise and glory to serve. In your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bring it in here. Let's go. Bring it in here. Let's go. Family on three now. Here. Let's go. One, two, three. Family. Let's go. They took everybody away. Don't you disrespect. If it's the right thing, what's yours? And we're on the field. Protect those good at this. Do your fucking job. Everybody to win. Let's go to work. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eyes up, get where you can see me. Okay. Same, real simple plan. Right? Win the turnover battle. Offensively, protect the ball like it means everything. Defensively, take it away like it is the game. Win on special teams. Play smart, penalty free football. Make the plays that make the difference on special teams. Win situational football. Offensively, we convert third downs, we score touchdowns in the red zone. Defensively, we get off the field on third down, we hold them the field goals in the red zone. And when it gets to the fourth quarter, you find a whole new level, and you turn it up and you finish. Eight months, we focused on the now. Right? What do we have to do now to be successful? And finally, now is game day. Finally, now is that moment you have worked eight months getting ready for. You are ready. You are prepared to the level you need to to go out there and be successful. But that focus still matters. Reset every play. Reset every play. Reset every play. That focus has to be there. It can't be the environment. It can't be the crowd. It can't be what you want to happen. You stare him right in the eye and you let him know, well, it's me. It's me. And I'm coming all night and I will not stop. You will not beat me. I will not take no. Go get it. Some new looks to start the new era, but an old staple lights up Kyle upon the Aggies entrance. Captains meet in the Lone Star logo. Number seven is Notre Dame. 
Number 20 is Texas A&M. And the Aggies get it first. It's the opener for 2024. Bussey will let it go. Connor Wigman, quarterback for the Aggies. On the first play from scrimmage, Wigman across the middle. Complete Cyrus Allen. First catch, 15 yards to the 40. Now in motion, Thomas, Orbit, give to Moss, a couple of yards to the 44-yard line. Third and two for the Aggies from their own 48. It's Moss, right side, across midfield, first down. They needed two, they got four. Five at the line of scrimmage for Notre Dame. Wigman in the pocket, pressure from his right, completes. Watson to the 24-yard line, an 18-yard gain. On a first and 10 from the Notre Dame 24, Wigman looking left, now across the middle, and now he's going to run, directing traffic. Out of bounds, inside the 20, and nearly horse-collared on the right side. The snap to Wigman, quickly out of the backfield, and oh. too far ahead for E.J. Smith, incomplete. That was the right call. Oh, he had a great call, and if he just, if this ball is a foot closer, this is the first down. And the right-footed Randy Bond, trying for the first points of this game. Good snap and hold, and Randy Bond caps the Aggie drive. 7 to play in our first. Texas A&M three, Notre Dame nothing. As a bruising affair continues, a mistake costs the Aggies a defender. And Notre Dame is poised to score. And it's our for loss. Oh, Shamar Turner cleans it up. Receiver screen to Faison. Gets outside and just shy of the first down. Tackled by Will Lee. 46 yards away. Mitch Cheater's kick ties this game at three. After Notre Dame ties the game, both teams trade punts. An exchange the Aggies will take with the way Tyler White is debuting in maroon and white. High spiral by White. Faison, a fair catch at the 13-yard line. Snap to Leonard. Spinning, has him in the sights. Sidearm sling is incomplete. Three and out, Dave. <laughs> and three and out. Wigman, pump fake, now runs. Back up the middle. Near the first down, I think he dives. He That's a head first slide for the former baseball player. He got first it. down. On that sweep, right to left, Jade Walker across the Notre Dame 45-yard line. This is a handoff, stutter step right up the middle. Amari Daniels, oh, there's, wow. the, there's the new strength for Amari. Play action fake, receiver screen, ducking inside to about the 32-yard line, three yards shy, Jade Walker. And then Randy Bond comes on again. In a game of field position and defensive dominance, A&M goes up again with another Randy Bond field goal. It's 6-3 Aggies. The defense forces another Irish punt, but they get an interception and get it right back. They turn it into a field goal and make it 6-6, all even again. 53 seconds left, second and 10. Stepping up Wigman, across the middle. Wigman intercepted at the 48-yard line. This is a run to the left. Knapp with a nice block, but Will Lee, the third, is there. That's going to do it for a first half. They're going to let it go. That's going to be the end of the half. Four fuel goals, two apiece. And after 30 minutes, Texas A&M, Notre Dame, tied at six. The Pulse, Texas A&M football is presented by Creston, a new home community by Johnson Development. The 12th Man Foundation, proudly celebrating 75 years of funding Texas A&M athletics. And ABC Home and Commercial Services, official pest control partner of Texas A&M athletics. It has to be the work. Yeah, we gotta go put that in here. It's two quarters, right? Every time we touch the field, y'all should have an idea what the expectation is, right? Yo, hey. Eyes on me, lock in. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Lock in, focus on the details, right? Defensively, get the signals, understand down and distance, make sure we're communicating, crack a place on the perimeter, corners, tighten down, right? And we get them in second and long, we got to stop drives, we got to get them off the field. Offensively, right? We got to stop making self inflicted rooms, right? We're killing ourselves. Too many penalties, right? In critical situations, right? We got to win, separate, and get open against man to man. You're right where you want to be. If you're at home, three and a half hours, that was the deal. Three and a half hours, whatever it takes, right? It's your time. It's your time. Go out there and play the way you know how. Notre Dame gets 
possession. Tied at six. And off up the middle. Ah, Shamar crashes down from his right defensive end. No gain. Third and one. It's a run by Love. He didn't I it. don't he know if he hit it. It's second effort. This is going to be close. I don't know. He didn't get it. But where they're running in, it's going to be fourth down. Fourth and one from shy of the 34. Leonard's going to take it up the middle. First down. Still on his feet to the 41-yard line. It's pressure. Ah, oh, diving underneath. the 45, two yards shy as he hit right shoulder hits. Damian Sanford on the tackle. It'll be a fourth and two, and Notre Dame's going for it. Give Leonard up the middle. Leonard short. Second effort. I don't know if he made it or not. It doesn't look it. Doesn't look like it. From the Notre Dame sideline come the change. Short. Yep. 12 man told you if he made it or not. Pressure from his left. Complete breaking out of a tackle and a head to the 39 yard line. Jade Walker from the shotgun. Threw it behind the intended target, Shane Calhoun. Fourth down. Looks like the Aggies are going to go for it. Got some movement, no flag. Wigman right side. Incomplete. The Aggies had a chance to grab momentum in the third quarter, but it was just out of reach. Notre Dame takes possession of the lead with the first touchdown of the game. The defense keeps digging in. Now the offense needs to find its footing. It's a handoff to the left. And with a little burst of speed and some strength, a first down gain for Le'Veon Moss. Pushed ahead by Demetrius Crown over for another five yards. Convoy inside the 40 for a first down. Smith up the middle, good hole. Inside the 10. To the seven-yard line, Le'Veon, Le'Veon, touchdown. Right up the gun, yep. Kyle has been electric all night, and the defense keeps the energy up. The offense tries to mount a go-ahead drive, but comes up just short on third down. The Irish, Orchard School, A&M is almost out of luck. 154 and 75 yards to go, down 2013. Low snap, Connor, sidearm sling, not ready for Noah Thomas. They were not on the same page. Fourth and two, he's gonna throw. Rifle, incomplete, intended for Walker. The clock is at 30, with 104 remaining. So about 30 seconds being left. 46 yard attempts for Jeter. Sealing this Notre Dame victory. It's 23 to 13.